That's right. Up until now, we've only really had these leaked details. Plenty of headlines on those, but nothing official until this publication on the Parliament website, which we've had today. With me now is politics expert Jim Hancock. Jim, do you think this official publication will draw a line under this? I doubt it very much, because I think people are going to contrast the full information that they're getting on the Daily Telegraph uh, website and in the newspaper, and this blanked out sort of version uh, that's in Parliament. Now, obviously Parliament is saying that with very personal details and so on, that's why it's been blanked out. But that's not entirely the story. There is no doubt in my mind that if we just had to rely on what's been published today, we would not particularly have been able to find out about the flipping of uh, mortgage mortgages because you wouldn't have got the actual addresses to make the comparison. How damaged do you think Parliament's been by all of this? Terribly damaged. I mean, already uh, Parliament was held in fairly low esteem and politicians, along with journalists, it has to be said, in particular. But this has set back people's regard for Parliament even further. And it's, some, it's somewhat it's unfair. You know, there have been some MPs who have been completely clean from this. But you talk to people on the doorsteps in the recent election, you're all the same. That's what was being said. That's the level of contempt that Parliament's held in. It's going to be a long time before that's remedied. And Hazel Blears specifically, where does this leave her? Can she survive? I think she can survive. I mean, uh, there was a lot of anger when she came back from Parliament to spend time in a constituency. She found that a lot of her uh, constituents were very angry indeed. Now, I think over the last fortnight she's done the apology interview. I think she's worked on those people who are going to be voting tonight. Remember, this isn't a sort of all the public of Salford uh, making a vote on this. This is only her active branch members. And I think she's probably done enough because, to be fair to her, she has done a, a lot for Langworthy uh, and, 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 and those sort of areas. I think she's probably done enough to survive tonight, but she's a very damaged candidate. OK, Jim Hancock, thank you very much. We will wait with interest to see what happens to Hazel Blaze at that meeting. Full coverage of that in Channel M News tomorrow.